ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. Today we are headed all the way to Lamborghini of Newport Beach. They are throwing an awesome car show, and then I'm gonna drive the brand new Aventador S. The Aventador has always been one of those cars for me that looks and sounds so cool, but I don't think I would ever own one because of the way that it drives. But according to everybody I know who has actually piloted a new Aventador S, they say it's actually really good. So today, we're gonna find out. See you later, Allie. Look at that, Aventador S. Aventador SP Roadster has to be one of the coolest looking cars ever made. Here we are. <laughs> What's up? Just showed up to Lamborghini Newport Beach. The turnout is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Went inside for a quick second. This is the largest Lamborghini service center in the country and it shows. Just look at the amount of cars that are sitting in here in the shop. Obviously, we've got McLaren of Newport Beach too, so we've got some McLarens in here. That's where I drove the 675 LT. Look at this display of cars. Oh my God. What's up guys? What's, What's up, going YouTube? on, man? Behind me, underground racing. Verde Mantis Huracan. You are 11, so I don't know. Experts out there, is it 1100 horsepower? You can see in the back, there's little turbos, but I don't know the power. It looks pretty good. It looks ridiculous. I've been thinking about getting Novatech springs for a long time to lower my car. I think it'll look a lot better, but my worry is, am I gonna lose all drivability? Is it gonna be so low that I can't really take it anywhere? Dude, he can and, do it, he I, can do it. Well, of course, every, you everyone in the comments <laughs> is gonna say I can do it, you but can. they're not the ones driving the car. Yeah. Then when the lift goes up, it kind of returns to stock ride height. But look how good this looks absolutely slammed to the ground. There's no space between the wheels and the fenders. <laughs> I think that might be Ramin's car. Beautiful 812 super fast, 720 and performante. Well, this is an incredible event. The turnouts are ridiculous. There's Paganis and stuff over there I haven't even seen yet. Happens the first Saturday of every month. I'm gonna try to attend here more. We got some hooligans in the background. But if you're in the area, certainly first Saturday of the month, Lamborghini Newport Beach. So this is pretty cool. If you own a supercar and you bring it to Lamborghini of Newport's meet, they actually have this VIP area where you can get free food and refreshments. So, so we have Mohammed here, also known as Billy, who won the freaking E46 M3 from being a pro member on Like Gravity. It's so good to meet you, man. It's awesome to meet you too, Parker. He came all the way out from Michigan, randomly visiting. I thought about it, I was like, you know what? If I get the chance to meet Parker, I don't care what it takes on my doing. And you're enjoying the car? Oh yeah, it's awesome. I, I love it. Uh, got to drive with the top down since, you know, the spring in Michigan. Awesome. Now. So, blows my mind every time I walk out to the garage. And see it. I'm so happy that that worked out. It was awesome yeah. to meet you. Check this out. As the last Aventador SV Coupe in the world exits the showroom, it's a zombie apocalypse behind the car. I'm extremely excited to be taking this Aventador S on the little rally that we're doing. I've driven an Aventador, an Aventador Roadster, and an SV, but from everyone I've talked to, the S handles a heck of a lot better because it's got rear wheel steering, it's a little lighter, retuned suspension. Look at that gorgeous quilted leather. All right, let's fire this thing up. how wild this Aventador looks with what I believe is the DMC body kit. Wow, love those Pura wheels too. Some Wyra BC backfiring action, that's ridiculous. Check out this Aston Martin Lagonda. Oh my god. I have never seen one of these moving before. What's up? The Wyra BC is leaving. This is the only situation where nobody is paying attention to this ridiculous event. Actually, people are. I keep trying to leave, but I keep pumping into the coolest cars. 
722 convertible. That is just bad ass. And this is the 675 LT that I reviewed a while back and fell in love with as well. All right, it is time to leave the show and go on a drive Ooh. in the Aventador. First time behind the wheel of the new Aventador going on a little cruise to lunch. So this is super cool. Lamborghini of Newport Beach invited me on this little rally that they are hosting for customers. It's a really cool way of making you feel part of a family and community. And honestly, that's what cars are all about, and especially with these supercars and hypercars. Wait, we gotta floor it. <laughs> they also host track days where you can learn how to drive at thermal with professional instructions so you can get the most out of your car. Freaking awesome. We got Nick from VF over here. All right, we go left and then we go on to 405 South. Okay, I'm going here. Oh boy. If you guys haven't seen my review yet, it just went live on the hypercharged VF Performante. That thing has a smaller V10 and it would absolutely smoke this Aventador S in a race. In this video, we are going to be talking about five insane features of the new Aventador S. One of which, of course, is that monstrous six and a half liter V12 in the back. Naturally aspirated, one of the best sounding motors ever created. And with the S, we've got some changes over the standard Aventador that make it sound even better. For one, the red line has been increased from 8,350 RPMs, which for any normal person or anyone really, that seemed to be plenty, all the way up to 8,500 RPMs. We've also got an additional 40 horsepower, a new exhaust, and that means... Second up is that ridiculous, oh my god, single clutch gearbox. In this day and age, everybody has moved on to double clutch transmissions, but in the Lamborghini Aventador, Lamborghini claims that there's not enough space to fit a DCT unit, so they've still got this single clutch. The single clutch ISR gearbox is able to shift in just 50 milliseconds, but what it's really good at, oh my god, it actually feels like the car is braking every time you shift gears. It makes the experience driving this just, oh my. This is gonna be just one giant video of me screaming. That's what I feel like this is video has become. Another crazy feature of the Aventador S is the presence of a fourth driving mode. So we've got strata mode which is boring and you shouldn't use it sport which tightens up the steering the suspension the throttle response corsa which snaps your neck between shifts and ego mode yes that's right there is a fourth mode and it is called ego mode what is that well it's actually just an individual mode where you can custom tailor it to your settings so you can change the steering independently from the suspension and the throttle response pretty cool little touch nothing new Audis and BMWs have had that for years but it's a nice addition to the three modes we had before this has to be the craziest feature on the Aventador S not because it has any sort of performance benefit or it's cool lightweight cutting-edge technology because it doesn't really make any sense the Lamborghini Aventador S has stop start that's right when you come to a stop for a long enough period of time the engine shuts off. And then it fires back up again when you put your foot on the gas, which almost makes it seem to everyone around like you've stalled your car and then turned it back on. It also has cylinder deactivation on the highway. That's right, it can shut off half the cylinders, making this thing run on just six cylinders to slightly improve the embarrassingly bad fuel economy that Aventadors have. The thing is, Aventador owners don't care about that. Now I know they're trying to comply to emissions regulations, but I feel like they can do that in other cars, not the Aventador. The last crazy part about the Aventador S is its torque split. In sport mode, we can have up to 90% of the power going to the rear wheels. That's right, it is almost a rear wheel drive Aventador. How cool is that? In Corsa mode, it's 80-20. In Strata mode, it's 40% in the front, 60% in the rear. The fact that in sport, it's 10 and 90, that's wild. Woo! Nothing like rolling in a group of Lambos. Listen to the crackles. Oh my God. 
This thing is downright ridiculous. <laughs> Nick has caught back up, obviously, in that 875 horsepower per Fermonte. I want to see these bad boys take off. Are they going to do it? Look at that LM002, the original Lamborghini truck. So Travis has apparently discovered the key to putting my tripod and slider inside of a Huracan. So your slider, I don't know if you can go in there, but um, it doesn't oh, move around at all. And this, look at this, that. this actually sits right here. <laughs> so it, yeah, it it's a tripod. match made in heaven. Yeah. Just pulled up to Javier's, it's crazy. The parking lot is looking just as insane as the car show was. Look at all of these beasts. Huracan Spider, Huracan Performante, AMG GT. Beautiful Aventador S, I love that color. Crazy spec SV, the S I'm driving, the VF 9XX. Just got done with a fantastic lunch. I gotta say, being able to do this in a car feels pretty awesome. We are headed out to find a cool spot to start the review, which will be the video following this one. So if you want the in-depth, super detailed, and my opinions on the Aventador S, you gotta watch that one. I can't get over how cool the Lambo truck is. Urus versus LM002 head to head. Lambo Newport Beach, we better make that happen. Got a 720S behind us. If you were to get into a race of a new Aventador S versus a 720, the 720 would absolutely walk away. A big reason being, 720 weighs almost a thousand pounds less than a US spec Aventador. That's right, these weigh about 4,100 pounds which is pretty heavy. Well, I think this is a perfect place to end this video as I'm about to start filming the review. If you're not part of the Vehicle Virgins family yet, smash that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on because the review on this thing is absolutely going to be ridiculous. I'm going to go over every aspect of the Aventador S and decide whether the new generation Aventador is actually worth buying. Look forward to seeing you next video.